Hey guys, welcome to The Market is Open. Visit our website, themarketisopen.com. So there's lots of Tesla news today, uh, specifically in the last five hours. Uh, first of all, the stock today dipped below $300 uh, as the market dragged everything down. Uh, but the real news is with uh, Navigate on autopilot, uh, some tweets from Elon, uh, Advanced Summon, and he also mentions the new Sentry mode. So we'll talk about that today. But before we get started, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to our channel. We make all sorts of stock videos, uh, specifically Tesla. About a quarter of our videos are Tesla videos. And if you want to request any other uh, stock for analysis or for valuation, etc., leave a comment below. Okay, so the first news comes uh, with Navigate on Autopilot. Uh, first of all, Tesla says it's their most advanced feature. Of course, it uh, is going to get better and better over time, and it, and it helps drivers navigate. Uh, on its own, the car sort of drives itself. Uh, initially, it could do some highway driving and it could change lanes if the driver is signaled, uh, but now drivers can like wave the confirmation. That's, uh, that's news from October. Uh, the car can do speed adjustments on and off the highway. And there's different uh, levels of, of uh, navigate on autopilot. There's mild and average and mad max mode, and you can also disable it. Uh, but Tesla has about 10 billion miles of data now, so this feature is getting better and better over time. Uh, the news from today comes from Elon tweeting uh, that this feature is coming soon, uh, specifically in Europe. Uh, he talks about all the different road markings and the signs that, uh, that the Tesla AI has to deal with in order to navigate uh, the roads in the city. And of course, Tesla's coming out with their own new chip uh, probably in the next couple months. Uh, that's going to be an order of magnitude faster uh, at processing AI type algorithms uh, than the previous chip and that'll help this feature improve significantly. Uh, so far it seems that there's that there's been some pretty positive reviews about the latest autopilot so that's going to keep getting better and better over time. Okay so the next news of the day has to do with advanced summon. So it's a feature that allows vehicles to, to drive around in a parking lot for example, uh, locate an empty spot, read the, the street signs even, figure out if they're allowed to park there and then the car should be able to park itself in the spot. Uh, summon also makes the car come to you from, from wherever it is. Uh, so in November Elon was saying that the feature should be uh, ready in about six weeks. That was in November of course so the feature is a little bit late. Uh, but he did say it would be an OTA update. So we haven't heard anything about this recently. However, just today we learned that uh, the feature has been approved by regulators. So that, among other things, was probably holding it back. Uh, but now it seems that, that the feature is going to be ready very soon. It's probably still going to be uh, a little bit late. Uh, but it is an awesome feature that people definitely uh, want to use. Okay, this is probably the most exciting news of the day. Uh, because this is a, a pretty important safety feature. Uh, it's a feature that I would want uh, for a car, and I think anybody would want this. Uh, it's called Sentry Mode. Uh, so Tesla already has some uh, built-in cameras in the car, and the car can actually already detect side collisions from other cars. Uh, but a much requested feature is what happens when the car is is parked or turned off. How do you uh, like detect or, or prevent somebody from uh, touching your car or denting it? Uh, so somebody tweeted Elon today with a picture uh, of his dented Tesla car and Elon said that Sentry Mode uh, was, was on the way. Uh, so the car already has a 360 view around it, already has uh, 8 cameras and 12 ultrasonic sensors uh, and radar. Uh, so it has a 360 degree view of the surroundings of the car. And of course uh, Tesla can already detect uh, like side collisions from other cars uh, so it should be able to to similarly detect uh, people or, or objects like a bike or whatever coming uh, close or touching the car. Uh, and there's already uh, the cameras of course are in the car. A uh, feature that was released I think at the end of last year was like a built-in dash cam. You can use an external USB to, to grab the footage. Uh, though I'm not sure, uh, it'd be cool at least I think. I think there's, there was a lot of manual intervention with that. Uh, but it'd be cool if uh, when you parked your car in your garage then and it connected to Wi-Fi, for example, uh, it would just upload the, the footage onto your, your server. Uh, but I don't think it does that right now. Uh, but anyway, this feature will be available on uh, Autopilot Hardware 2.0 and up. Uh, so you can see that there's about 370,000 uh, cars uh, with this Autopilot 2 hardware. That's as of uh, the end of last year, end of 2018. Uh, so those cars, most most of Tesla's cars actually, basically if you look at the last the last bar, uh, that's twenty that's Q4 2018. Uh, that shows the total number of cars that Tesla has. So they have over five hundred thousand vehicles, and the bulk of them uh, have this autopilot to hardware. 
Uh, so that's an exciting feature, especially if uh, you want to know like who dinged your car. I know my car has been dinged a couple times, uh, and it could help prevent hit and runs uh, in the future. So it seems that Tesla is pretty far ahead in its autopilot features. All of these uh, three things that we talked about today are uh, sort of related to the AI chips in the car, having the car learn and detect things on its own. Uh, so it seems like they're innovating in the space. I don't know of any other uh, car companies that are doing this, uh, at least not at this level. And if they are, they're certainly pretty bad at marketing. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash that like button.